Our daily actions are committed when our skeletal muscles contract. The sarcomeres contain many parallel overlapping thin actin and thick myosin filaments. The muscles contract when these filaments slide past each other resulting in a shortened sarcomere as well as the muscle. This is known as the sliding filament theory. For this sliding, the molecular basis is formed by cross-bridge cycling. It is initiated when muscle fibers are stimulated by a nerve impulse and calcium ions are released. The troponin on the actin are bound by calcium ions. This displaces the tripomyosin on the actin filament, exposing the myosin binding sites. The head of each myosin unit is bound to an ADP and phosphate molecule, remaining from the previous muscle contraction. The head releases the phosphate molecule and binds to the newly exposed myosin binding site on the actin. The two filaments glide past each other propelled by a head-first movement of the myosin units powered by the chemical energy stored in their heads. As the units move, they release the ATP molecules bound to their heads. The movement is then halted when ATP molecules bind to the heads. This severs the bond between the head and the actin. The ATP is now decomposed into ADP and a phosphate molecule, with energy released by this action and then stored into the myosin head, ready to be used in the next myosin movement. The myosin heads resume their starting positions along the actin filament and can begin a new sequence of actin binding with the presence of further calcium ions to trigger a new cycle. The animal's body currently being shown is experiencing rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a biochemical process that results in the body becoming rigid soon after time of death. As previously shown, I explained the importance of ATP when it comes to muscle contraction and relaxation. With the ATP no longer being able to be produced, the myosin heads are not able to detach from the actin, thus resulting in the muscles staying contracted. This process occurs in all of the muscles in the body, thus becoming rigid.